Hey guys, in this session I'm going to be uh, mapping out those tambour samples that we recorded. So uh, let's get started. So I've got my open, uh, my empty contact instance, and I've got my tambour samples. I'm going to just quick and click and drag into here. Uh, now let's just get started. So here we go. Uh, mapping editor, please. Uh, select all, which you can do like that, which is for me Apple A. Auto map setup. Ignore the tambour hand. Set to single key. Ignore the four tone piano and make group name for the uh, round robins. Apply. Let's just do the business for each group. Yes. And keep doing it until it has created all the groups. Auto map selected. Auto map selected. There we go. Job done. Now if we play it. <laughs> that sounds so cool. It sounds like a Tyco. And that sounds like uh, a orchestral bass drum. <laughs> I, I don't want to do anything with this. It sounds amazing. Uh, and this is why I love recording your own samples because of these happy accidents that sound just beautiful. So let's get onto the group editor. Um, first of all, let's turn off edit all groups. I'm going to delete this uh, master group of all samples. And here we go. We've got group one, two, three, four, and five. So if we go to group one, we're going to s s set the round robins now. So cycle round robin position one. Cycle, oh, no. Cycle round robin position two. And then we'll do this for the others. Cycle round robin position three. Three, cycle round robin, position four, cycle round robin, position five. Job done. Okay, so now let's go into the mapping editor. Uh, and now I just want to make sure that I've got... <laughs> oh, that sounds so cool. Uh, let's sort that out. Uh, and it's going to sound really pathetic now when we move the root key to center. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll sort that out. I think I'll have a play with that in a minute. Uh, now let's go to uh, list view. So what I want to do is, is move the, select all of the fortes. Forte, 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 forte. And I'm going to put those to start at 91, which means that when I select all of the pianos, the the quiet notes that is, piano, 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 I will get them to finish at 90. So when we go back to this view, you can see the samples are now split. Um, now I have the, the error of logic Grr, logic. Um, you know, when I was cutting the samples, it was when it was detecting the transients, it was and moving back a set amount so that when I go to the wave editor, I should be able to uh, do this move one and then uh, to all selected zones, copy current sample start time. And that should work, but it doesn't. So let's have a look. See? Uh, oh wait, <laughs> well, especially if I don't do that. Uh, let's move these guys up. And let's move this. Let's see, move that to one of them. To all selected zones, copy current sample start settings. So now if we have a look through all of them, uh, that's not right. That's definitely not right. So annoyingly, logic and my well thought out shortcuts have backfired on me, which sometimes they do, which is really blue and annoying. But luckily, I am not recording a hefty instrument here. I'm recording my tambour. Uh, now let's just move all these guys like this. So we've got the sample sample start at the right time, so that when I press the key, it starts at the right time. Oops. There we go. Uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, 
pitch this down again because that sounded amazing. Like that sounded like the business. It's business. Here we go. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I might have to head off in a second. I've got some bolognese on the go. Some veggie bolognese, that is. And I'm worried it's burning. So, here we go. Okay, good. I'm just going to check my bolognese. I was right to worry. It was burning. It's okay. Uh, I caught it just inside. I say burning, sticking to the pan. Okay, so that's sounding pretty good to me. Um... Yep, so I'm just playing them super quick. Now I want to go to the modulator. So I'm going to go to group editor, edit all zones, uh, undo that. And I'm going to go to factory, do a preset of never ending. So that actually it just captures the sustain of the note. So let's just up this. So let's just have a little play, see what, see what it sounds like. Yeah, that's actually pretty playable. I'm pretty chuffed with that actually. So let's just go to the mapping editor, uh, switch to list view, uh, select all again. Where are we? Control A. And I'm going to uh, move the root up and see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty cool. Let's move up here. Yeah, that sounds actually much better than this the sample itself. I mean, if we play it. Whereas this. I mean, that's... Specifically that. That sounds wicked. I mean, I'd buy that for a dollar. It's a bit much. That's a bit, that's a bit, actually a bit better. Ah, there we go. So what, what I hear there, that's why it's quite good to play through the sounds. What we're hearing there is one of the waves in the, uh, up here is clipping, is that one, because the note, there we go, it was starting at the, uh, close that, my disc is almost full, I think my Mac is going to explode soon, um, uh, because the sample start was cutting into the note, I know, I heard, okay, uh, it's because I'm recording this and it's taking up valuable gigabytes of space. Okay, so uh, I am really, I mean, that's a war drum, that's a war drum, oh, that's a war drum, amazing. Uh, you know, what? that's really exciting me because uh, I've always wanted to record my own trailer drums, but I haven't, and I couldn't be bothered to get access to actually big Tycos. Who needs that when you can have a tambour tuned down at one and a half octaves that's immense right i hope you have as much fun sorting this one out as i have done uh, because that i mean this is the beauty of it it's a really small instrument really simple i recorded uh five round robins with just two velocity layers and it sounds great and actually i think the two velocity layers is a real sweet spot for me actually because uh as a as a inconsistent player you know having to do more than two is a bit mm, my brain doesn't handle it so well uh so go and have fun with mapping these out and i mean that sounds wicked let's uh let's go the other way oops sorry remember it doesn't have an undo function where was it there okay let's just just for the fun of it just before you go Yay, little tin drum. Cowbell. 
How versatile is this? Again, this is the wonderful thing about sampling at 96, because then you can do this. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> 